Hi. It's been a lot delaying this stream, so unfortunately starting quite a bit later than I planned to, about three hours later than I originally planned to. But let's get into it. We can hopefully get at least this next level finished um, by uh, by the end of this stream today. Let's get into it. So starting off, we're going to review what we have so far. Let's see, I believe it'll be in here. So this is tentatively the world map that we have so far. It's pretty rough. Um, I've been putting more work into the levels right now because this will be a lot easier to parse later on. So going back to Course Maker. And we will load up what we have. So, um, these are the nine levels that are going to be in our world. Uh, I've named all of them. The idea is that it's going to be a story being told, with this being the midpoint, that being the ending. <clears throat> in a, an epilogue kind of fashion. So, this will be the ending, Devastation, and then Synthesis will be the actual epilogue. These aren't the final names, these are just the uh, placeholder names. Uh, so far, we finished 1-1, one, one, Spikes and Springs. So, I'm going to do a quick playthrough of that to show you what I've come up with for that so far. <clears throat> Alright, and play. So, this is also pretty rough right now. I'm going to uh, build it up some more and clean it up a bit in the future. But the main mechanic here are these spikes and the Galoombas. And then you can also see those guys up there to show you a little bit more of the spikes and springs, which you can avoid them, but if you don't, you can get a power-up. And then we have a bit of a trickier situation here. Whoops. Okay. And then... Whoops. Okay. Uh, let me go back to the beginning and do that from the beginning. So, you walk over this way and you run into the springs, which makes you pause for a moment so that you can see the single spike and see that the main mechanic is going to be the spikes and the springs, and then also the galumbas and the slopes there. Um, if you head up here, you can get a, another power-up, but unfortunately that means that you're going to have to contend with these guys. They're not too hard with the cape, though. Then, that'll show you something. If you were to stop there, you would take damage, so that's to teach that you have to be able to uh, continue going with the Galoombas to avoid the damage. Uh, this is to show how multiple spikes will interact with each other. And then this section, which I actually messed up, but uh, this section is to show you that you need to be able to uh, jump at specific times with the Galoombas to avoid damage. We have this, which forces you to uh, not only use the helmet with the spike, but also realize that you can bump the spikes up with the helmet. And, then, and this part's a little tricky without the helmet. But it's still pretty doable. Alright, we're gonna just jump right back here. Since this is just a demo. And then, whoop, and then this, you gotta jump on the different guys. Whoa! And we have the, the Mecha Koopa here, who is the actual main enemy of this world. So we're going to uh, have him as a bit of a uh, foreshadowing. And then you have to deal with him to get through this last little puzzle. Which might seem a little weird if you end up playing it just by itself, but within the context of the larger thing, it will be a little more poignant, as far as poignancy can go. Now, if you go back here, I did put a separate little side path to make it feel a little more legitimate as a Mario level. So if you go up in here, see the side path, but then this actually is a bit more foreshadowing for the Mecha Koopas 
and the uh, the mechanization of things. As you can notice, there's the the different stones that have taken over some places. The stone mushroom. And this is going to be window dressing, but I'm going to add a bunch of mushroom stalks leading up. That's all going to be decoration, though, so I will do that later. And that just brings you back to here, so that you still have the challenge, and you missed out on the earlier bits, but this is more for, you know, people who have played through the level before and already know what, what's up. Okay. So that is the first level that we've created. Today we will be working on level two in this world, so let's load that up. Uh, whoop. Yeah, load. And I will upload all of these when they're finished, um, but I'm gonna wait to make sure there's nothing specific that I wanna do with them in the meantime. So first off, let's, uh, whoop. Get rid of that. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna make this a little higher up so there's gonna be more of the mushroom motif. We'll do this guy here. Actually make it a larger mushroom. Which actually I think I'd wanna do a little shorter so that's normal for Mario to jump up onto it. I'm gonna do this guy. Oh, I gotta go one bigger if I wanna do that situation. Okay, so let me just double check. Yeah, that's plenty high enough. So Mario can, without a running leap, jump up to the fourth block pretty easily. As you can see, it can get up to the fifth block, but um, a comfortable jump is four blocks high. So, we're gonna build out this business with the mushrooms, and we're going to continue to use the uh, spikes and springs motif, but we're going to bring in a lot more of the Mecha Koopas as we do. So let's see, I believe it's... Um, One thing I don't care for with the mushrooms is that if you mess it up and it's a little too long, it doesn't just automatically shorten the mushroom. You have to actually actively shorten it. Which is annoying, but... I can deal. Okay, so... Start out with a stack of spikes. Then I believe if I put a spring here... Yeah, but then we'll also put... Um, a question block there. We'll just put your standard mushroom. Just drop that in. And then let's see how that works out. Whoop. Yep, and you gotta watch out. We'll do this nice little arc over top. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. So, you can get the mushroom, but then uh, you're at risk of getting hit by the spike. So that's a good start. starting challenge that iterates on the idea of the last level. Then we're gonna... Shove another mushroom in over here. Whoops, not that kind of mushroom. Platform mushroom. So we'll do this. It'll be a bit of a jumping challenge. Not too much of a platforming challenge, you know. Uh, what's a what's a comfortable distance for Mario to jump? Let me figure that out real quick. Whoa! Oh, watch out! Watch out! Whoa! Okay. Let me try that again. So let's just assume you did it perfectly. Assume you did it perfectly. Okay. So. Okay, so if I'm walking and I jump there, it's pretty much exactly the spot I can jump to. Okay, that's, yeah, that's like a perfect arc. So one, two, three, four, and one more for the drop. Okay, so that should give us a solid little moment right there. And then I'll actually toss another semi-solid on top of that. We'll make that a little taller. So you gotta you gotta work for it. I wanna there we go. 
Uh, well, that's a little tall. Then I believe you can still jump on that. Yeah, you can still jump. Okay. And we will put another guy up top of that. We'll extend down to here so you can tell that there's something up there, even if you don't necessarily see it on screen. Uh, okay, you can still see it on screen, which is even better. Um, so let's see, we will put a uh, spike up here. Um, wait, how do I turn them around? Oh, come on, I know this. Uh, Oh, how do you, uh, shoot, hold on. How do you rotate objects? Or rather, mirror, flip objects. Um, nope, not in a course by a uh, course maker. Oh, come on, there's got to be a way to flip the object. Mm. Okay, well, let me... Let me just mess around with it for a minute, so... Uh, is it... Double click? Y. No. X. Nope. A. B. Nope, that's undo. That's that. That's the erase. This one? Nope. That one. Nope. That one. Nope. That one. Nope. How? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for later. Uh, hmm. Well, okay. We'll just go one higher then. So we'll go with the... Semi solid. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. So, we'll just make like a wall here, I guess. I want it to look. Well, yeah, let's make a wall of cloud. Okay, and then... So let's see. Okay, he cannot hit me. Whoops. So I can walk through the clouds. And even jump on the clouds, so if he throws it... If he throws it, it's going to hit the clouds. Okay, I think I need to make this little situation wider. So let's make this all a little bit wider. Um. Uh, where are you? Out of the way. Mario. And then we will put this guy over here. And let's see what happens with that. Let's say I was over here. Throw the thing. I... Right, Mario, I was the other way. Hold on. Okay. Throw the thing. Okay, the clouds do not act as a wall, so we're gonna have to use something else. Um. These guys. These guys act as a wall, right? So, okay, what's he do? 
Hmm, brakes. Okay. I need something that it won't break on. What block can I use? Uh, oh yeah, these, um, in terms of the motif, actually, that makes sense. So, let's replace the happy cloud block. Uh, yeah, let's replace the happy cloud block, block with the hard block. So then we'll see how that works out. Mmm, it breaks. Oh, you know what? Let's do uh let's do a sideways spring. Uh and then I'll just copy. Hey, whoops. That I think we'll do it. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, you know what? We're just doing the spring, then we don't need the hard block, so let's remove these. Then we will actually spread this out even wider. So, okay, that one hits, and it hit about there, so I believe I would need to put this over here. Which means we need to scoop this, scoop that. We'll actually make this a little wider. And then we'll make this one wider. Mm, that's the extent of how wide that can go. I don't want any, like, weird... Like, right here, there's, like, a little weird flat edge on the bottom. I don't want any of that. So, we're gonna, um... Well, let's first see how this works out. Oh, the spring fell. Okay, well, in that case... Let's move this whole situation... Um... Let's move this whole situation... Uh... Let's move this whole situation over one. Okay, and then we will scoot just that part. And let's see how well that works. Not quite. Okay. Well, let's scoot this over. Let's see how that works out. Okay. And there is like a little thing there. Okay. Um, let's make this situation shorter so that this guy can trigger, because I don't think he will if you don't do it. Okay. And I'm pretty sure... Let's see, this is one, two, three, four, so I can make that two shorter. Okay, so let's see how that works. Alright. Yes. Cool. Okay, so that's the whole situation works. Let me double check that that will work if I'm coming at it naturally. Whoops. Uh, 
it, but that's okay. Never mind. So if I were to be there real quick... Ooh, watch out. Okay, he's out. Oh, that spring's in the way now. Shoot. That messes with my little platforming business. Or does it? Hmm, let's try it from here. Okay. And so this ties it into the last level because it was those stacks of guys, which we've already seen. And then this shows a new mechanic where it's difficult to even get hit by it. So at this point in this level, while this might seem a little difficult for somebody who didn't play both levels, I'm gonna label this as a 1-2. I'm pretty sure if you... Yeah! If you do that, you can skip ahead. Cool. Okay. So that's already pretty cool. And um, we'll save this. And continue working. Grab some water real quick. Okay. So now that we have this situation, I want to make a larger one that's a little more... a little more dangerous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're gonna double up on that. A little more dangerous, and then up top where you'd think there would be another spike, there's actually gonna be a Mecha Koopa. So let's... Let's do this. And then we will that over to here. Make it real long. And let's see. Two should be good. Two should be good for now. Uh, we're not going to have any slopes in this one, so I'm just going to unpin these. We might have some ground, so I will uh, hang on to the ground. Uh, Semi-solid. Put that there. I'm gonna uh, pin that, pin that down. Okay. So let's see. We have one that's that. So we're gonna make that. Let's see. What's the widest this can go? Okay, that's pretty wide. So we'll do like a little little stubby one to start. Or actually, let's. Whoa, that can go really far. Okay. Um, in that case, yeah, let's make a real wide one. And then we will kind of work from there. So let's make another one of these. Uh, as long as it goes. as wide as the other one. A little, a little thinner, in fact. Okay. Then we'll do another mushroom. Make this one, like, much taller.
Uh, well, don't want it to be that tall. And then we'll toss this guy up top. Okay, and then we'll put a couple spikes along the way, and then at the very top where you'd expect another spike, there'll be a Mecha Koopa. So first off, let's get these springs, uh, spring jams laid out. I'm going to need to work on the mechanics of that. Okay. Then we'll have just like a single Mecha Koopa hanging out. Whoops. Get rid of, get rid of you. Um... In fact, this only needs to be about too tall. So we actually have quite a bit more room to work with here. So let me just kind of shrunk everything down. be hanging out up here, and in fact, let's make him a red Mecha Koopa. We'll drop a spike here. And we'll drop a spike right over here. And actually... I think I want to scooch this all over. Let's actually make this a bit over. Hmm. That'll be a bit more of a platforming challenge, but that's pretty sure that's doable. Let's check. Yeah, that's definitely doable. Ooh, and then we watch out. Whoa, because it's coming. Alright. Ooh, hit himself. Uh, ooh, watch out. And then, oh, there's that guy up there. Ooh, and he's got the homing missile. Okay. And then I think I'm going to make that one he's on. He's going to be on stone, and we're going to throw a couple of small stone things here and there. To kind of give you an idea of, like, that's, that's not really what it looks like, usually. It's going to be subtle, you know? You have to be, like, kind of paying attention. guy up here. Watch out, watch out! Okay. So then, the next one, as a total subversion, um, um, as a, the, in the e, 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 next one, in the next one we're gonna have a total subversion, it's gonna be built like it's supposed to be a another little course like this and it's just gonna be packed full of these guys so it's gonna be very difficult in a different way so first off let's give ourselves another couple screens ah hit the undo I always forget how this uh, interface works 
Okay. So then we're gonna hop over here. And we're gonna... Can I grip? Well, wait, 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 wait. Um... Yeah, 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 okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna go to copy. Copy this over here. Make it a little taller. So that's, that's a tricky jump, but it's not too difficult. Uh, whoops. So you can, you can make this jump, but, I mean, I'm, I'm going to make sure that you can make it, but it'll be tricky. Hmm. And then we're going to, going to actually copy another one of these over. We're going to make this even larger. So this is gonna squi- whoops, didn't mean to copy there. We're gonna squeak this on over that way. And this one, we're gonna shrink it down a little. And then we're gonna take this and elongate it. We'll actually make this one weirdly long. Nope, nope, that's the longest it can go. Well, we'll scoot it over. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, grab a spring. Hmm, I think this one will need to be longer. Uh, that that should be okay. And then up top, we're just gonna have like like a three of these. That's asymmetrical. I don't know if I like that. Okay, we'll make the middle one longer. Cool. Um, and those will be solidly these. Okay. And then we will we will erase those bits. And we'll just whoop. I'm just kind of Kind of throw some in here. Some like kind of some Borg stuff going on. Just kind of slowly mechanizing this whole situation. That should be good. And then, uh, oh, scoot this over. Because it doesn't really matter if those work so much. Because they are, uh, they are, uh, just, what's the word? They're just, like, misdirection. Just misdirection. Nope. Hold on, I'll just scoot these one by one. And yeah, we'll just make these taller. Whoop. 
And then we will... Wait. Uh, ooh, and then that's like a little half thing. Well, yeah. That one is just fully stone. Then we will toss... these guys up top. And we will go back to the standard green one. And just have them in there. Hanging about. Just like a solid wall of bricks you have to go through. And this wall is gonna go all over. It's gonna be kind of jagged and weird. All the spaces that are not filled in by brick will be spiked. Not the dude, not the little guy who I like. Um, we're gonna, yeah, throw some random cuts into there. Kind of rough it up a little bit. And we'll decide what we're gonna do with this area in a minute. Uh, and yeah, we'll just pack that full of spike traps. Listen, I appreciate it. <laughs> Andrew, I, I'm seeing your stuff. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. I, I started this way too late, so I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get some progress done. I want to at least finish this level in this stream. So I'm, I'm not meaning to ignore your hilarious humor, but I just, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get some work done. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mario. You friggin' dork. Oh, oh, and there's one. Okay, I have to look at the uh, the preview of my stream to get some of these. There we go. Okay. So, first of all, gotta see that this actually is a doable jump. So I'm pretty sure if I don't run, I can't get it, but there we go. Ooh, and yep, there's just a little Mecha Koopa. Oh, and they're hanging out. Oh, watch out. Watch out for him. And we got these guys up top. This is a whole situation here. Whoa. Watch out. Mmm, okay. I don't... I'm gonna need to add in another mushroom so that you actually have something to jump to. To jump up. So we're gonna pop that in. Ah, uh, let's make it a little shorter. Shorter. Gonna, 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 oh, over here. Confused why that happened for a second, but then it just turns out Mecha Koopa woke up. Whoa, whoa. Okay, and then there's this perilous business. 
So what am I gonna do after this? Because <laughs> this is the complete reversal right here. This is like the... This is like the act two break. Hmm. I'm gonna ruminate on that for a minute and take a quick biology ba break. So I will be right back. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to uh I'm trying to think what I'm going to do on this side. I guess now I'm just going to go straight into Mecha Koopa Town. So it's going to be a kind of perilous drop that leads into I think an underground segment? Okay, yeah, I think that's I think that's what's gonna be up here. That's what we're gonna be up to. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've already left, Andrew, but yeah, thanks for joining. I apology that I'm not being uh, very respondent for on uh, for to the comments at the moment. I'm trying to. Man, this is this is a lot more cerebral than my other game stuff. Um, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay attention to the game if I gotta get through it in any kind of reasonable time limit. So. I think that should be enough. I don't think you can see. Let's see. Oh, right. Wait a minute. You can just make, like, a break, can't you? It's like a thing now. Uh, I don't remember. It's, it's okay. Alright, and then we'll... Dunkaroo, uh, pipe right here. 
And the pipe will take us... Oops. Two. You want horizontal or vertical? Let's go vertical. Um, do I want it to be a drop thing or do I want it to be an up thing? I think I will go with up. And we'll go like so. Give it another nice base of these. And we'll make it We'll make it pretty narrow for, for at least this first bit. One screen wide. That should be cool. Um, okay, so with that, we're going to start making kind of a platforming challenge here. And partway through the level, we're going to just be uh, adding whole new mechanics. Is that advised? Probably not. Do I care? Uh, I mean a little. But you know. What, what kind of mechanics do I want to add here? Go a little higher with that. Yeah. And then... Hold that. 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 And then Okay, I think I will go up and then back down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll make it one of those. We have to go all the way up and then all the way back down. So what's the maximum height on this? That's it. That can't be it. Can you? Yeah, you can make it taller. We'll make it like half. Since you gotta go back up and then down. So we will... Okay. I'm going to go up to the top here and carve out three blocks. So you can get through. Um, I'll actually make that a spikes. I'm going to be using quite a bit of the spikes, I think, so I'll pin that down. Um, and then we will, I think I will drop these in here. So the idea here will be that if you overshoot it, the spikes will be waiting. So it's precision, but precision in another kind of way. And we'll just kind of make a little rocky outcropping. And we'll just kind of throw a few, whoop, throw a few spikes in there. And that spike will just kind of stick down the bottom. Whoa. I don't know what's going on with the audio. Okay. Uh, I mean, El Elgato's already having troubles, and now it's... They just did, like, an update to OBS that might be messing with the audio. 
more than it's already gunked up. I gotta say, I'm real, real disappointed in this Elgato. Like, it technically makes this possible, but it's just like... It's not doing nearly enough. Might turn the Elgato audio off in a minute. If it keeps doing this. I don't know. I don't know. I it's not even like it's not set to a high frame rate. It's not nothing, but it's just been giving me trouble left and right. So I'm real unimpressed with the Elgato software. The Elgato software and hardware. It's it's pretty crap to be brutally honest, but it's kind of just the standard. Maybe I should have sprung for the Aver Media thing. Um, mm, that one's a little much. Let's let's pop that up and. I'll just erase these spikes. That's mm, that's a tricky one. Let me let me try that out. Yes, yeah, that's doable. It's not even actually that difficult. So I don't know, man. I I set these up to not be that difficult, and then everybody's like, it's too hard. No, it's like stop. If I wanted to do hard, I would do hard. This is not. I'm not doing like troll levels, guys. I'm just doing the level I want to do. It's a le it, it is a level that I could reasonably beat without that much difficulty. So, okay. Oh, you know what? I think what I'm gonna call this one is uh. Let's see. We're gonna call this one, instead of encroaching danger, up. Uh, okay. We're gonna call this one, one dash two spikes. Spikes and things. So the first one was spikes and springs. This is spikes and things. It's not the most clever thing, but you know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let me just check. Uh, it's gonna bug me that one of those is the is um capital N and the other is lowercase. So let's actually go in and fix that. Okay. So there we go, we go. See, cause if you're if you're standing on a block and there's a spikes nearby, it doesn't even hurt you, so let's let's actually Let's do this. So that it's clear like This one over a little bit. I'll make this kind of like that. And actually, I'm gonna do one last one here. We're gonna do this tall. Okay, 
and make this one right there. And we will multi-grab all of this business. Move that up. Let's say there. Okay. So then, coming out of the pipe. Oh, jump up, jump up. And oh, just barely. Oh. See, that's the first one that really gets me. So let's see. And this is before I even introduce. I'm gonna introduce this jumping mechanic. Like this style of platforming that involves the quick stop. Um, then, for this next section, we're gonna introduce it. We're, for the next section, we're gonna introduce the regular Mecha Koopas. It, mm, the red Mecha Koopas. I think we'll introduce the red Mecha Koopas on that one. So, I think, I think I'm not going to go super long on this because I started so late, but, uh, I'll go, I'll go until, uh, what time is it? A little before five, I'll go till like 5.30, I think. Um... Let's see... Now we'll do like three. That's like that. Two. Next, let's just like kind of. Squidge those up and let those be our guide. I am gonna eat a cheese. I am gonna eat a brick. I am gonna chew brick my teeth. Okay, and we will bring the red Mecha Koopas on that one. Curious if they're affected by the spikes. So let's say if I put one there, will it actually hurt it? Three, and... Oh, one there. So then... Try that. Yeah, I hear the audio freaking out. My apologies, guys. It's just what we're gonna have to deal with. If it does it too bad, I'm just gonna. Gonna have to ignore it, I guess. I have n I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to fix it. Like, the Switch is not a power-intensive console, so it's not... There's not much I can do about it. That bit, that bit right there is a little tricky. That one's pretty tricky. 
So, okay. Nope. I am actively trying not to make this too hard, so... Hold on. Can I make that if I'm not... If I don't have the invincibility frames? Yes, that is doable. Okay, that whole situation up there needs to be moved down. So let's do that. Okay. So let's just drop them there. Ooh, and then you gotta watch out. Hold on, is it... Nope, you're gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna... have to delete these... spikes. To make this passable. It's completely impassable. Now things are off. If you try and try and be sneaky and hop over that guy, it's not gonna let you go. Okay, and those might break the bricks, which means I need to make these bricks a little thicker so that they don't, uh, get broken all the way through. We'll go three thick. That should be plenty. <clears throat> okay, and that gets you up to here. So we're actually gonna pop platform right here. And delete these. And we'll just kind of make this bit a little gauntlet. So. Oh, you know what I, I want to do, actually? Um do one of these runs. Mm. Yeah, okay. We'll go like three layers on that. And then on the very top... Have some of these guys. I don't know, maybe because I'm in a bad mood, I, uh, am making things a little absurd. But you know, that's kind of what you gotta work with when it comes to design. Part, part of design is just, um, the humanity of it. Like, if it was just gonna be perfect, you could let robots and computer programs do it, but, like, the human element is what makes design shine. So without that, what would really happen, you know? If I am annoyed at my life, you know? Just, today has been a crappy day, so. I'm mainly annoyed that I had to start this so late, but sometimes you can't help that. I'm trying to just focus on making stuff. Just 
to air my grievances. I'm pretty much just annoyed that I had to start so late and that my friggin' capture software and hardware don't want to work with each other. And it's all glitchy and frame droppy. You know what? Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. I could count my blessings, but do that publicly. That's just kind of bragging. Whoop. That last one is tricky. <sighs> I guess the one blessing I count is that it is Wednesday. Um, which means that tonight is AEW Dynamite. I'm super glad they've found a way to continue the show even during this pandemic. That's why I'm wearing this particular shirt, the Kylie Ray AEW shirt, which you can't see unless you look at the arm that it's an AEW shirt. I bought it at a show before um, before it was revealed that she had uh, ended her contract with them. So it's now going to be kind of a rare shirt, which considering she only did a couple matches, I believe, before... She, um, called it quits with the promotion. This is pretty cool. And I, I tend to wear it when I'm watching AEW Entertainment. AEW, for those of you who don't know, is All Elite Wrestling. Which is just really, really good wrestling stuff. They got some of the best indie acts in the world signed to it. They're treating them well. They're being smart about their promotions. They're being clever about their booking. It is a solid thing. So if, you, if you've if you ever enjoyed professional wrestling, definitely watch some AEW. It is the primo stuff. Whoop. Okay, so that's, well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I think being a little foolish because the whole thing was based off of being able to bounce off that guy and then I completely ignored it. Which I'd like to thank my friend Andrew Bench, who was, as you can see in the uh, Twitch chat over on the other side of the screen, was talking for a little while. Um, to run but uh yeah he got got me all uh caught up on wrestling and stuff i've not i had not been into wrestling for a minute and finally finally got back into it because he showed me aw stuff we watched double or nothing last year and it was awesome and i'm really hoping that stuff um stuff in the world gets a little better before Double or Nothing is meant to happen so that I can, uh, we can see it. Although, they might not cancel it. They might just do another remote thing. It would suck. It would really suck to not be able to see that pay-per-view as a live event because the AEW pay-per-views are awesome. But, you know what? I'd just be happy if it happens. They'd still blow it out. Like, they do... They go nuts with their pay-per-views. Make them so fun and huge. I might... I'm probably gonna have to rework this, because I just can't seem to get it to work. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Nope, nope. Okay, I think I need at least three blocks to get it working. Uh, oh wait, what am I doing? I don't need it to be... Alright, so then... Do that. Connect these. So, first let me check that you can even get up in there. Okay, 
and then you can run, and then you can run, and then you can, whoa! And this, this I guess is assuming that you know enough about Mario to uh, know that you can do this, because otherwise it is going to be pretty impossible to get through. Uh, hmm, well these guys are sent off too fast, so let's move these boys up and out of here a little bit. So they will be a whole other situation. Um, I might not finish this up, but I think I might go through and do a couple playthroughs of the levels. The levels. I talk for a living, can you believe it? Um, the levels that I've built in the past give you an idea of, you know, what, what I've done. Alright. Ah, oh, crap. Oh man, I do really like Mario Maker. I um, I wish I'd been able to play the one on the Wii U, but who had a Wii U? Like, if you weren't a Let's Player, you didn't like really have one, as far as I know. I have like t two friends, Andrew again. Um, he had a Wii U, which he gave to his kid. I'm pretty sure. When the Switch came out, and then uh, I have another friend who completely regrets the decision, but then was like incredibly unfair on the Switch for like a while because he was like, it's just gonna be the Wii U again. And it's like, listen, the Wii U was a blip in an otherwise stellar performance from Nintendo. Nintendo has done amazing things, and the Wii, I, I think it was just like hubris, basically, because like, the the Wii was like the biggest selling console of all time, biggest home console of all time, and so they were like, yeah, we knocked it out of the park. So when they made the Wii U, which was a good system as far as I can tell, um, they they didn't get that people wouldn't get it, so it was uh, unfortunately a bit of a blunder on their part, but. That's fine, you know. You win some, you lose some. Nintendo is back at it with the with the very fun Nintendo Wii. Um So, or the Nintendo Switch. I mean the Nintendo Wii was also very fun. Um I did not have one for the longest time. My my kids' siblings got one for their family because they were still they still lived at home at the time, and I was I was also living at home. I think when they they made brought I don't know, when they got a Wii. But uh, yeah, and I never really played much of the Wii. I would have loved to have played more of it. There were a lot of fun games on it, by my understanding. This this right here might have been a stupid idea. I think that might be too much. But let's find out. Um, okay, so if I go... Whoop, whoop, oh, that's a little too much. Okay. I'll get rid of that bit. And I'll actually I'll put this in here, because that's still well under the arc. But it feels perilous. That's a trick I've found, is that if you put something in a place where it's still totally easy and possible to jump over, but you make it feel like it's more perilous by, like, just putting, making it stick up farther, it's, it's pretty fun. Okay, so let's run through this whole area, and in fact, do I want to put my chest... No, I'm not... Ooh. Well, the first area isn't that hard, so I feel like it doesn't need a checkpoint flag. Well, from everything I've seen and everything I've played, the uh, checkpoint flags are most enjoyed after tedious stuff. Because once somebody has beaten a hard area, or more 
often when someone's trying to beat a hard area, having to do non-hard stuff first is a pain. And it's very unwelcome. Alright, I'm just gonna do one run through of this area, slap a background on it, and we will come back to it on the next stream. Alright, and then we go, and then we, we go, and then we, oh, oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And you jump, 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 jump. Oh, okay, I gotta make, uh, gotta put a couple spikes in here to make sure he's in a good position. Okay. That's fun though. That's actually, I'm liking that a lot. Cause it's like a little victory lap. It's like, it's it's tricky. Oh, it's a little difficult, you know. You get through this bit. Oh. All you get through this bit. Sorry, there was a notification on my phone. Um, you get through this bit. Oh, and it's difficult. So it might take you a couple tries. And in fact, yeah, I think. Well, wait, can't you have two checkpoints? It's interesting. I was watching the Grumps play through this, and a lot of the early episodes, because checkpoints weren't even a thing yet, um, they were so much less annoyed by the fact that there weren't checkpoints. Okay, and then you go through here, and it's like, oh, the guys are blasting at you, so you gotta get out of the way. You gotta get out of there. And then you get through there, over here. Ooh, okay. And then you get up here, and you whoop. You whoop. And you jump, and you jump, and you jump, and you whoop, and you make it. And then you gotta get out of there before that. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, or actually, let me figure out what's the theme for this one going to be. Let's go with something spooky. Ghost house? Mm. Well, yeah, let's go ghost house. Okay, so then let's save. And then let's try the whole thing from the top. So, uh, da, I'll flip it. And we'll go to the start. We'll play, so you start out here and you get the mushroom. You nope, know, you're still doing the spikes from the last stage. Oh, and then you got these guys. Oh, but what's all this, this stone and brick over here? This, that's weird. Well, I can't think about it now, because... Oh, got a spike happening. Oh, and then, oh, hey! That guy's on the stones. I wonder what that's all about. And wait, hey, these aren't... These aren't spikes over here. Whoa, and then you got all these guys. Whoa, watch out! And then everything's just chaos over here. You gotta watch out, because it's spiky. And you go down the pipe. Oh, no. Oh, everything's... Everything's wild. Oh, oh and everything's spiky. Yeah, I'm gonna put a checkpoint there. Um, check the checkpoint flag. There it is. So we'll put a checkpoint flag right here. So then you get a checkpoint. And whoop! Oh, it's a little tricky. There's spikes everywhere. Spike traps this time rather than the little guy. Whoop! Oh, that one got you. And now that you got this bigger challenge, keep working on it. Get up here, and it's more of these guys. 
And just keep going from there. Oh, and they're shooting missiles at you, so you gotta get out of there. Ooh, you gotta watch out. And then you get up in here. Whoa. Whoa. You gotta... Yeah. Whoa, but you gotta watch out. You gotta get out of there quick. Nice. Okay. So I'm gonna save that. And that's where we'll leave it at for this stream. In the meantime, I'm just gonna load up some of my other courses and show you guys what's up. This one... Uh, this one and I think this one are not finished. So we're just gonna sh I'm just gonna show you the three that have been finished. And I probably will at some point on a stream go to the other ones and finish them. This one's just pretty cute because I really like the, the butt scooting down the whoop, down the thing. And then you you hop along, you go and you jump. It just gets more perilous. And jump. Whoa, and then that one's just fun. It's short, it's cute. I just wanted to play with the mechanic. I've seen that idea done a lot better since since I made it, so. It was the first one I made, mostly to figure it out. So then we got Night Shift. And it's just kind of commentary in the descriptions of these ones. And we go here. Whoop. And the mushroom bounces away from you in Night Town. And so you gotta, gotta do it. Whoop. I forgot how to play this level, it's been a while. Okay, so you, you can just hit that or you can go through. And then when you get to the end, oh, that gives you a little foreshadowing of what's gonna come. And so then when you come back here, because you gotta hit the thing to let him out, Oh, and you see the fire. Because there's a Bowser down there. And then you get to see all this stuff. So they're all contained for now. For now. But then you gotta use the spinny. Which is another thing that I wish they'd utilize more in actual Mario games. Whoops. Um, well, we're gonna just hop over here. And then there's a the Bowser there, so you gotta keep going. Don't really have a way to beat him. Whoop. And then you pop through here, and get that. And then, you just gotta watch out. You just gotta watch out for these guys. They're just coming along. And some booze for extra, extra danger. And I believe uh, these blue would be set up. That's part of why you're forced to do the red early on to give you more danger here, but I'm just doing kind of the cheater method. But I had to do it the full method originally, but yeah, it's just adding more platforming challenge. And then that gets you up in here. And then to continue forward, which is because of the checkpoint, I made sure that there was some red blocks in the way. How did I... Well, okay, that works. Whoops. Okay, so let's say it's from the checkpoint. And you get a mushroom, or even a fire flower. If you want to, you can still try and beat him, but it's probably not gonna work out. So I wouldn't recommend it. That's high enough that he can't get you. Whoop, and there's a bunch of booze here now. So it's real hard. This one I described as, it's hard, it's like no harder than something you'd see in like the later worlds of an actual Mario game. So you just gotta pop, pop. Which you can just jump over these guys. Um, and then I can't cheese my way through this bit. So we're just gonna go back. Uh. So we're just gonna try that again. All right, and then 
then, yeah, he can hang on for a second, which is cute. And then you just gotta slip through the booze. I, I don't really know quite what my idea was here. I think... I think it was originally like a... Like a jail theme. Which you see from time to time in these um, Mario Maker levels of just like, Oh, you're releasing them from the jail! But... I don't know, I was just being cute. Okay, so then you go through here. You pop across these guys, and then that's gone, and then you gotta pop across this last one, and then when you get over to the other side, you're actually gonna end up over here, which gives you this cathartic moment, where, oh, they all set off, and you gotta run, and then when you get to the end, you hit the, the bow, and no, oh, it's hard, but you just hit them like that. And you win. <sighs> so, yeah, that one is harder. For certain. But, it's doable. I mean, I had to do it to upload it. So, you can actually go and play that one. Um, ooh, I don't remember what the codes are for these. But, uh, yeah. And then here we go. This is uh, one that I'm pretty proud of thematically. Enter the green machine. Sat in the bog, atop poison throne. There it shall wait. Purpose unknown. I thought that was cute. I had, it was really tricky to fit the little rhyme into the, uh, into the thing. And so the concept here is, uh, you end up in the place where the fire flowers are grown. And it's a strange machine made out of pipes. You gotta you gotta do this little butt scoop. But you gotta stop yourself in time. Which isn't actually that hard. In retrospect, this like as I was working on it, like this was my idea for the mechanic and it ended up not being very difficult, so I feel a little, uh, a little disappointed that I couldn't make this mechanic actually hard to do. But you know what? I think it works out. And then... Alright, that one can be a little tricky if you don't hit it on the way through. And we go back up. And now... You gotta do it across the conveyor belts. So you gotta stop it so that you don't go flying into the spikes. And it can be a little tricky. Whoop. And I'm pretty sure no matter what you do, you're gonna fall into those spikes. Whoa. And we, whoop, and you gotta go. Okay, and then this is the last little bit. You just gotta kinda hit the, you just gotta hit the, uh, the switches in time and hop between these little platforms, which is not too tricky. It just involves very particular timing. So, I feel like I didn't make this one too difficult. And I like how, um, it's actually, like, I use these thwomps to make it so that the whole thing's just shuddering and shaking like a real machine working over time. Oh, and then you gotta get this last one. And, whoop, and you gotta, oh, watch out to get through and get it. Yeah, that one's fun. I, 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 I'm a proud of the theming more than anything. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the stream today. I need to next week. I will start at 1 p.m. on time to uh, make sure I get plenty of stuff done. So thanks anybody who watched. Thanks Andrew for coming in. Um, I apologize for not responding to your messages. I was just a little focused. So yeah, we got 
the rest of this level to do, and seven more in this thing, so it's gonna be a while, probably at least a couple months of streams, but we'll get it done. And it should be fun by the end of it, and I'll make sure to put up all the codes and everything. So thank you to anyone who watched today, thanks to anyone who watches in the future, either on this stream or on the uh, Twitch archive that I have on YouTube, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. There's a link to that on one of the panels underneath the stream on the browser version, so check that out. You can also check out Iggy and the Ape, my YouTube channel. Um, there's also a link to that down there. Check me out on Twitter, you know, my website IDK Voice and everything, which I should be revamping soon. Check out, I do a stream on Sunday of a Banjo-Kazooie game. Right now I'm still working through the first Banjo-Kazooie. Um, I stream on Monday to check in on my Animal Crossing island and a stream on Wednesdays to work on this world. So if you like this, or you like any of those games, go check them out. My schedule is, again, under the stream on the browser version. That's where you can enjoy the, uh, you can find and hopefully enjoy the streams. I'm doing my best. I'm learning this. I apologize for my janky capture software. I don't know where, I'm, where my hardware, software, everything's going wrong, but I'm doing my best. Anyways, thanks again. Bye.